Okay, so this video shows how you can fix this error which is saying cannot read properties of undefined reading set state. So I'm using the class component in React. This is the toggle, that is the component name. And there is a event handler here, handle click. So what I'm doing is uh, setting the state, okay, calling the set state. But the error that I'm getting here is cannot read properties of undefined reading set state. So the reason why this error comes is because in class components, you need to bind the handlers to this object, okay, like this. So this dot handle click, so this is the method is equals to this dot handle click dot bind this. So what is happening here is we are telling the JavaScript uh, controller that we want to bind this object that is the component instance with this particular method. So if you don't bind what happens is that this is pointing to undefined object. It is not pointing to the component instance and that is why we need to bind it. So bind function basically what it does is that it re returns another function reference uh, where uh, this particular object will be bound to this particular method and that is we want we are basically binding the current instance component instance with this particular method without this uh, in this particular method this will point to undefined and that's why this error we are getting now that i have uncommented that it is working fine so you can do one off on off here that's it just make sure that you are binding your event handlers to this object. Thank you. Or alternative ways you can use the lambda expressions. So lambda expressions, in lambda expressions, uh, this uh, is determined based upon the lexical scoping. That means this handle click will be is inside this class, right? So this will point to instance of this class itself because uh, for the lambda expressions that is how this works so there is a difference in between how this works in lambda expressions and how this works in normal functions so this is a normal named function so here this will work it will be automatically bound in a different way uh, depends upon how we call this method okay so that is how it is determined how this is going to point but in lambda expressions what happens is uh, this will be uh, determined like where is it is going to point that will be determined based upon the lexical scoping so lexical scoping means it determines where this method is defined so this method is defined in this class so class is basically a special function so it is inside that function and that's why this will refer to the instance of that particular class and that's how you can uh, resolve this issue as well so here you don't need to bind in that case thanks for watching this video